I can't kill him. Ethan Chu, what happened? I could ever forgive you for what you did. Cool virus, huh? We really have to use it. It kills instantly. Oh, and by the way, say hi to Alex for me. What is this place? Something seems familiar about this. Reader? Hello? Anyone? My powers are gone. I don't understand. Where is everyone? Ethan? Listen, I don't know where I am. How are you here? Alex, how are you here? I asked you first. It doesn't make any sense. You're dead. Indeed I am. What does that make you? Well, I guess I'm dead. Alex, how long has it been? You lose track of time here. It's, I'm not even sure. It works out here the same way it does out there. Exactly. Where is here? Are we in like heaven or something? Come on, Sid. It's a bit hard to explain. Things are different here. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why, but this isn't heaven or hell. This isn't purgatory. This, this is limbo. Limbo. But we're the only ones here. Why? The same reason I got here in the first place. Because it's a mistake. An error. Ethan, there are an infinite number of parallel dimensions and each one is defined by its boundaries, its limits, its specific set of rules. When something from one dimension comes into the other, that's not supposed to happen. The universe, the fabric of reality, has no idea what to make of it. Of you. Ethan, by all accounts, I know what happened the day you got your powers. You stumbled across an experimental government prototype. In every estimate we made, the trip you took should have killed you, but instead it gave you powers that you weren't supposed to have. So now that you're dead, the, the universe has no idea where to put you. It's, it's the same thing that happened to me. You killed me and... You weren't supposed to exist, so I wasn't supposed to be dead. So now I get put here. I recognize this house. What's it doing here? Well, limbo is like any other dimension. It's built from memory, the memory of its inhabitants, mine and now yours. There is no escape. But back to you. Um, how did you die? What, what's going on back on Earth? It's a really long and really stupid story. Wow. That was a really long and really stupid story. Yeah. So, Vinceful Boy, still alive and doing who knows what. And there's no way to get back there. There's gotta be a way out of here. What if I kill myself? A negative times negative does equal a positive. You can't die in limbo. You just wake right back up. Face it, Ethan, there's nothing you can do. 
You said limbo's made for memories, right? Well, my memory serves me right. I got my powers through that car. So, using my memories, I can use that car to go back and get my powers back, and then I'll have a way back. A memory doesn't automatically make an exact replica. The car might not even work. But you don't know. Even if it did work, there's no telling you'll make it through alive again. It was a one in a million cosmic fluke. I'll take that risk. Aren't you bored, Alex? Maybe we should take a walk. I mean, what could go wrong? Oh, gosh. What happened here? My hat's gone. My, my powers. I got back. I don't have powers. sign of leader, either. the invincible boy kidnapped you. What are you doing here? What happened? I'm back, Peter. I'm back. I don't have my powers, though. Do you know where the invincible boy is? Are you okay? Whoa, wait!
It's not even a great ball. And my powers are gone again. back whatever it takes you remember me? No, no, I, I don't. I don't remember anything. Ah, uh, gosh. Amnesia. What a freaking cliche plot device. Come on, leader. Let's go get your memories back. Why do I have Nickelback stuck in my head? So how did that make you feel? Well, I told you, I don't remember anything. I don't even think you're a psychologist. Okay, how did that make you feel? Honestly, I felt betrayed. And where are we anyways? This is the Secret Service headquarters. You're the leader, hence your name. Oh, oh that makes sense. I thought leader was my actual name. Imagine carrying a baby for nine months and then naming it leader. You were at the hideout of the Invincible Boy when I found you. Do you remember why you were there? No, I... Wait, hang on. I do remember a hideout. There was someone there. He said something to me. That must have been the Invincible Boy. And... And... and there... There was a, a second hideout. Yeah, that's the word I remember. Second one. Stay here and rest. I'll be back. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh.
who's there. The Invincible Boy. Ethan? Holy crap, it's you. Man, I haven't seen you in forever. Got that garbage. I'm here to get answers. I'm sorry, this is just such a surprise. I mean, you're supposed to be dead. The reports of my death were greatly exaggerated. Now, about leader. Alright, alright, I understand. Do you want to fight or something? Because I don't see your hat. I don't see any lightning. You're just Ethan, right? Not just some random dude that looks like him. What did you do to Leader? Leader? Leader, Leader, Leader. Oh! Hmm. My goodness. You mean the leader of the Secret Service, don't you? He has amnesia. You kidnapped him. What did you do? Sorry, that was just such, such a long time ago. You killed me, Invincible Boy. You don't think you would remember something like that? Okay, firstly, Invincible Boy, we aren't doing that anymore. I used to be into dumb supervillain names. Yeah, when we all have that kind of phase. The time when we just have that immense urge to murder someone. But it's just Ammon now. And secondly, the whole killing you thing was like years ago. Better start talking. Alright, alright, that's, that's fair. Let's see. After I killed you, I took Leader away. I tried a lot of stuff to get myself access to Seco government database. Turns out they have a lot of patents for dimension traveling vehicles. They just disguise them like normal cars. So I took a few of them. Now I'm making my own. It doesn't exactly work yet, but when it does, I'll just do what you did and I'll get more superpowers. That doesn't explain why Leader has no memories. Yeah, what I did with them afterwards, um, oh yeah, I was still paranoid you'd find a way back. So, I put him on my old hideout and transferred him a virus into him that just gave him a single command, kill you if he ever came back. I assume he was still there for years. I guess I just forgot about him. You sick son of a... Now, now, I don't really want to fight you. I told you it's years. I don't really care about what you did anymore. My dad was all stuck up about that, but I'm a big kid now. You hurt my friend. Now I'm gonna hurt you. You still don't have your powers, do you? I still have mine. Don't use them much, though. How do you think this is gonna go? Do you really want me to break your wrist again? I don't care what happens. But you're still here. And you're evil. Okay. Hey, uh, what's his name? Oh, Evan, you good? Where am I? Did you put me here? No, I just saw you. Evan put me here. He wouldn't even finish me off. I can't do anything against him without my powers. Once he gets his car done, I need to get my powers back. Do you remember anything yet, leader? Not a clue. If only I could get one of those government cars, and I could travel to the Pokemon dimension again. Pokemon? What is that, some type of food? Oh, duh. <laughs> Get this thing working. 
Why is no working? I just... Why? I just use this. Ah, uh, but not in this dimension. It's probably been years since this scene's worked. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. Why won't you work? Come on, work, work, work. No, no, no. This can't be happening. Why won't you work? No, 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 no. Why aren't you working? That's peculiar. Leader? Oh no. Leader, you're okay. Come on. Come on. E Ethan? You know my name? Yeah. I remember everything now. That sure is convenient. What happened? Oh, it was the Invincible Boy. Yeah, he, he used me as a servant or something. Yeah, and there's blueprints. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, I just remembered something. Yeah, I remember taking it and putting it in here. Here, take it. It's yours. I don't have my powers. I don't deserve it yet. So, what are we going to do? I can't use my own vehicle, but he has his own too. You've seen them before, right? The cars, how they're made. Yeah, I think so. I have a new plan. Listen, man, I don't care who the IRS sends, I'm not paying taxes. I'll just give the CEO cancer or something. Oh, it's you, the leader guy. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? Where's your friend? Well, you see, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You see, I have this thing called amnesia, you know? And really, I don't remember anything about you or anything what's going on. And that other guy, uh, whatever his name is, he, uh, he ran off somewhere talking about Pokemon, so whatever that is. Anyways, I was just wondering if you could just give me a rundown of what's going on. Well, I could kill you, but I'm in a good mood. So, I guess... I'll give you a history lesson. Great! Mind if I write that down? Sure. Well, you see, it all began when I was born. So after I gave the FBI director tuberculosis, I threatened the president that I'd start COVID-20. Nice, nice. What happened after that? Well, a lot of economies collapsed. It was actually pretty cool. All right. Which wire is this? But was it really moral for you to condone ethnic cleansing? Either they were going to have to do it, or it was going to be me. Yeah, makes sense. Let me write that down. So, was that before or after the whole nuke thing? You know who I am. What? You lied. You don't have amnesia. What? What are you talking about? What are you doing here? Uh, to... 
to come and ask questions and learn? The truck! Paper doesn't show this many wires and they're all gray? What the heck? Wait! Dude, you don't understand! Oh! He's coming! Hurry! Oh crap. Oh crap! Oh gosh, let's hope this works. I gotta get out of here. Oh, you have gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh, you better have a really good explanation for this, Ethan. Call me Ethichu. What happened? Died better not be in your next sentence. Well, there's complications. I had to use a different vehicle to get back to the Pokemon dimension. But now, I got my powers back. Okay, um, good. Good, great, great. You can you can go back and everything can go back to the way it was. Yep, and you know. was my plan from the beginning. But now that it's actually happened, I didn't expect it to feel so. Good. Now I'm just like you, he said. Well, I'm Ammon, and I seem to have become Charizard. So how about Charisman? This is just one dimension. Imagine what I can do with the power of all of them. He's stronger than me. There's nothing I can do. There is something you can do. Die! Get out of here. No, I can't leave you. He will kill you. I'm already dead, Ethan. Ethan, you. You can't die in limbo. Use the car from your dimension. Get out of here. I'll buy you time. I. I. Get out of here. Go. What can you do? You don't even have any powers. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I do have power. The power of the U.S. government. Snap! So annoying. What happened? Got my powers back. Well, that's good. Why do you look so sad? Because Ammon followed me. He stowed in the back of the truck, and then we both went to the Pokemon dimension. Now he's got Charizard powers. And, but he's, he's still in limbo, at least right now. Is that a good thing? It, it isn't. That place is built for memories. He can just use his own to get back here. Goes by Charizman now. He's coming. Well, we have to do something. We can't do anything. Because I already tried fighting him, and he's much stronger than I am. But you have your powers. Apparently that doesn't mean anything anymore. 
I used to be able to just zap away all my enemies. Now everything's more difficult. I'm older, yet I don't feel stronger. I couldn't even beat Charzman before he became this. How should I expect anything to go differently? Well, I can't do anything. I don't have any powers. You're the one person who can do this. You're right. I have to try. So, what are we gonna do? For a storm. Back for more, huh? Could stop you for good. Ethan, buddy. Now you're just being unrealistic. You couldn't even beat me when I had nothing. Do you really expect anything to change? Just that stupid little kid who thought a car was a spaceship. Now you get to watch the world burn. You are still stuck in the past. You can't stop being who you used to be. What will you do now, Ethan Q? Exactly how I remember it, but so different at the same time. I was so innocent back then. I don't know if I'll ever get those days back. That may be true. The past is gone and you'll never get those days back. But being here, surrounded by my past, I've come to realize that there's still a part of you. And it's better to live with the past behind you as a reminder of what you've become and of what you can be in the future. I'm sorry I killed you. It was in the past. And as long as you move forward, then that's the best outcome. I'm bored. Maybe I should take a walk.
long time ago. I made a promise. Now I have to keep it. You'll die trying. Good of humanity. No! No! And the good of Pokemanity! Oh! <sighs> My powers! Are gone. Now you can't hurt anyone anymore. What are you gonna do now, huh? Kill me? I'm done killing people. It's not my job. <laughs> That's his. You really are the worst. Goodbye, Ammon. Dang it. I never got to burn down Nickelback. It's over. Are you taking that? Yeah, I'm leaving. Wait, what if someone else comes to threaten the Earth? Then I'll come back. It's, but it seems that I'm the cause for all the villains being around here lately. So I thought maybe I should go somewhere else. You guys good here on Earth? I suppose we can make do with what's left. Where are you gonna go? Well, when I used the cars, I realized there's a whole lot of dimensions out there. Some worth exploring, even. So, I'll explore them, and maybe I'll finally figure out why I'm supposed to be here in the first place. Hmm. So I guess this is goodbye then. You could say so. If you need me, you'll know where to find me. Thank you. Ithachu had fought many foes and faced many troubles and had been insulted a whole awful lot. Let's do this. He can be called a freak of nature, sure. And an idiot, probably, yeah. But in the end, he kept his promise. He did well with his power. He truly became a hero, a legend. And I can't wait to see what he does next.
do 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 do